Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stray. So, we have been captured and locked up here in jail. Well, if they're gonna put me up for the night, then uh, I might echo the words of the cyberpunk hero Johnny Mnemonic and, um, well... I want room service! Yeah, and the, uh... You know, the club salad and the cold Mexican beer and the $10,000 a night hooker. And have my shirts laundered like they do at the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo. Just saying. I think the Imperial Hotel was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, if I recall. Anyway, let's bust out of here. We're trapped here in Alcatraz. <laughs> Get it? See, see what I did there? Yeah. Aha, we have are you out. No cage can contain us. Okay, let's see. Where do we go? We jump up here and we swing over to here and up there. Haha. -ha. We are so sneaky. We're a good cat burglar. Let's see if we're a good escape artist as well. All right, I'm trying to remember how we do this. Yeah, I believe... Yeah, we can't jump down from here, so... Yeah, we need to go to the other side. Okay, then we swing over on there, then we can jump down to the cage and onto these barrels. There we go. Now, what's happening to this fella over here? Sheesh. It's kind of horrific. Being, like, electrocuted. I think he's being rebooted, but... Man, they got some sick kind of medical experiments, torture or whatever going on here. Like we've stepped into like a Nazi death camp here. This place is pretty dirty. It looks like it hasn't been maintained. All the trash and the paint pe peeling off the walls. It looks like parts of Alcatraz for that matter. <laughs> like the actual Alcatraz. They shut it down par partially because it was so expensive to maintain it. Oh look, more sentinels. Which kind of begs the question in a way like, why would the robots, you know, even need a jail for that matter? Like, why would the robots be breaking any laws in the first place? Again, the possible explanation could be just like there's enough variability in their personalities that, that well, one of them's gonna, some of them are gonna break laws at some point in time, right? And also owing to the fact that, you know, they essentially, up in Midtown, they live in a police state, so... Maybe the, uh, the robot police are a little bit biased, shall we say? Alright, let's wait till this one, uh, passes the other way again. Alright, here we go. And we continue on. But yeah, like, why would robots need a jail? Either it's because it's just a police state and therefore police need jails or, yeah. Or robots are mimicking humans, that includes mimicking their criminal behavior. But luckily we have found, uh, Clementine. I can't understand you, honey. I don't have my translator. My universal translator. Ah. She wants the keys. They are very conveniently across the hallway. Alright, I suppose we'll get them for you. Luckily, half these windows don't have glass in them, they're just bars. Convenient enough for us to slip through. Okay. There we go. Grab the keys! Alright, so we're doing a little Pirates of the Caribbean here. You know, like the pirates with the bone and the dog holding onto the keys. 
All right. We have the keys for you. All right, we'll get them to you. Eventually. Oh, shucks. Look at that. I dropped the keys. Okay, here we go. Yep, we'll get... Oh, look at that. I dropped them again. Clumsy me. <laughs> oh, shucks. Oh, look, something shiny over here. Huh? Oh, yeah, we need to get the keys to you. Okay. All right, I guess you can have them. Here you go. You know cats and the way we're attracted to interesting shiny stuff. Okay, can we get out of here now? Please? We need you to like open doors and things like that. You have the keys for that matter. Yes, we got you out. We should change your name to Frank Morris. Possibly one of the few men to actually have escaped Alcatraz. Although whether or not he made it across the bay is debatable. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, we see something shiny. Oh, look, it's B12. Why would they keep them all alone in that, this, like, force field containment thingy, Majigger? Hey, we, we need you to come. We need to, before we leave, we need to rescue our friend. We have undying loyalty to a little robot drone slash human person. Yes, we need to get him. If you want any chance of seeing the outside, then I'm going to need an interpreter. And someone to hack stuff. So yes, Clementine, we need to get B12. Sentinels on patrol patterns. Uh, let me guess. We go it alone. Yep. Figures. Okay. Oh, look, and there's laser beams, too. There's frickin' laser beams! They got moving laser grids, too. It's so weird. Like, it's, it's like, it's almost arbitrary. Like, why would they have lasers and moving laser grids at that? Okay, there's a switch over there in that room. Jump on it. Freed B12, we just need to go collect him. They're like, huh, what's going on here? I uh, just turned off. Uh, uh, what's happening over there? Okay, they are suspicious. You can tell based on their yellow lights there. for this run, this one to make its little circuit. Okay, we go now. We can crawl underneath this slab that he was on and hide under here, let's see. Close. All right, and back to Clementine now. We 
We got him. Is he alive though? Yep, he's fine. We got our backpack back. I felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again, all alone. But you came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. Hey, it's the least we could do, right? I'm so glad we are all together again. But we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open the door just there? Yes, I suppose so. Sally port here. Uh, looks like you're gonna need to fi figure out another way to get through that door. We can use the uh, super sneaky uh, breaking and entering device, otherwise known as brick. Try that. Sentinels are not attracted to sound. Stuck on a brick there for a second. Okay, give us a boost. Okay, and we can open the door from here. The sentinels are blocking the way again. They'll spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in? I suppose so. You mean you want us to actually get detected? Alright, well, first we're gonna talk to some of these uh, robots here out in the yard. Getting their yard time in, I guess. You see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. You'll be all right, Pablo. Rest assured, we'll keep you safe. Okay, we got one here. We need to get him into that cell. Uh, ooh, what's, what's this fella here? The recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I am an exemplary citizen now. Yep, he was rebooted. You don't look too good, though. Just let him see us, then run in here and lock him in. Nothing to it. Alright, here we go. Hey, Christmas tree! Over here! Luckily, the bars on the bottom are spaced wide enough where we can just sneak right through. Over here, this person next to the dumpster, we have another memory. This poor fellow. It seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. Yes, I agree. It seems pretty horrific. Alright, well, that is the last memory for this area. Yeah, it's like, it's less like a prison, more like a re-education camp or something. Yeesh. Who's this person? Capone, hey, don't get me in trouble. I only have 758 years left and then I'm free again. Oh, what, did they get you for a tax evasion? Hmm? Elliot Ness and, and the Untouchables gang? Alright, what's 
this one have to say over here? This is Lupin! They put me in jail just because I wanted to overclock my pro processor. Yes, another uh, manga anime reference, Lupin the Third. <laughs> so we got Capone and we got Lupin, huh? Two of the greatest criminal masterminds out there, huh? We lure them in here. Oops. Yikes. Okay, and run back around to this one and shut it. Aha, did it. Okay. Come on through, Clementine. Let's see if the robots have anything new to say. Let's see what Lupin has to say. Ah ha ha ha! What you did? Ha ha ha! Yeah. Yes, yes, I know. How about Capone? Well done locking up that Sentinel. We gotta take the power back! Yeah, fight the power, huh? And how about you? I wouldn't get too close to them, buddy, if I were you. I mean, <laughs> what's to say they can't shoot through the, the openings in that gate? These sentinels deserve it. I want them to know what it feels like to be jailed. Okay, Pablo. <laughs> Did you just give it, like, the up yours? Funny. Okay. Stay alert, we aren't in the clear yet. Okay, well, apparently you can't open that door, so, but there's a broken grating here. We can sneak through it. How about we open it for you, huh? This door, it's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room, though. Let's look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we can't just break the window and get in there. There is a little, uh, truck thing here. Oh, look at this. The keys are in the door. We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Hop on the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. Now you hit the cone. It's like a little, uh, in Japan what they would call a K-car. Like it's a little, like, small little car, you know, like a little moped engine in it. It's got a yellow plate in it. <laughs> wonder if that flame symbol is, uh, is a reference to, um, what's that movie? Howl's Moving Castle or something? Uh, another English phone, payphone. Okay, nothing over here. All right, let's just uh, let's see. Oh, someone spilled a potted pot of dirt on this control console. Let's open the door, and that set off some alarms. Is that the uh, jailbreak alarm? I assume. Oh, great! Now we got sentinels coming after us. Serpentine 
serpentine. Ugh. Oh, they got me. Yep, they'll get you in one shot. All right, let's retry. All right, let's try not to get shot this time. That's funny, they're like shooting each other with their little stun gun things. Uh, Clementine, you gotta slow down a little bit. I'm having trouble catching up. Started. Okay. Uh, Clem, we need to go together. There's no way we'll all make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. But, uh, no. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. But I've already seen the outside, it, it, it Okay, thanks for the key. Go, now, I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Well, I'll we'll keep you in our hearts and our memories. Good luck, best of luck, Clementine. Okay, well, I mean, we came from the outside, but, all right. Well, I guess it's up to us now. We have to do our best. We're an outsider! We're an official outsider! We even have the badge for it, from Seamus. Okay, so we got the subway key, we got the battery, and we needed the battery to power up this train. So if we follow, yeah, the train is offline, so we need to follow this cable back down here. There we go, and we can install the battery right here. High voltage, yep. And of course it's run by Nako Corporation. Well, luckily it, it still works, everything's still operational. <laughs> Alright, then we can conveniently follow the uh, lighted green cable back. And let's get on the train. And start her up. Always wanted to drive a train. Okay, use subway. Alright, off we go. Hopefully to a place where we can uh, get outside. <laughs> 